I'm going to show you guys what I shopped for my family of three. I'm going to say three. <laughs> then, as a result, you guys, please. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my last prior. Today I'm going to show you guys grocery haul for my family of three. <laughs> In Ontario, Canada, cities are expensive. But I'm going to try and tell you guys how much I spend in each store. So this entire box, because it's going to allow me to do it, this entire box is from Costco, things I bought in Costco. I bought this cotinel swab. Yes, we bought nana nana na. We bought banana because it's my daughter's favorite food. We bought a crate of eggs. Yes, banana. -na -na. I bought strawberries. I bought grapes. I think she wants berries. Okay, let's let's have some berries. Baby, can you wash this baby for her? Thank you. I bought apples. There's apple. I bought oranges. I bought chicken breast. This has to go in the fridge right now. I'm going to be outside. And it cost me $28 for this. And there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight slices of chicken breast. I bought coconut oil. I bought protein powder, plant based. We're going to have to share this space. <laughs> We're going to have to share this space with my entire household. I bought bread boy for some ungrateful people. <laughs> I bought Eva's laundry soap. This is the soap that she uses for all her clothes. Or rather, I use for her clothes because I'm her maid. I also bought wet wipes. If you know, you know. If you don't know, forget about it. But yeah, for my ladies and my guys, after you do the do do, you need wet wipes and water. Then, if I got stuff to show this thing. Okay, yeah, that's your laundry cell. I bought coconut cream from Costco. This is all still Costco. Coconut cream from Costco. Or milk, rather. I use that for coconut rice. Coconut oil and all the time. I also bought tomato sauce. I use this for like tomato sauce. Yes, tomato sauce. Red. Red. Good job! I also bought this kale slaw. It's a staple in my household. Love it. We don't go without it. And I bought bouillon. We have some now, but I always like to have extra because this thing can be scarce. And Costco started selling it, so I bought one. For the house in Costco, I spent two hundred and eighty-six dollars and ten cents. I also went to Walmart. In Walmart, I bought this Google. -Go, I don't know. It's like a juice pouch, but it has no sugar. And I wanted to have something that was not dairy for Eva to actually like snack on because right now she snacks on yogurt. And yogurt is dairy, so let her have that variation of dairy, non dairy. She only tried one as it's open, but we move. I bought some peppers because I want to make a stir fry this weekend. I bought cream because Costco actually sells this cream, but they didn't have it today. So I just bought a single one from Walmart. I bought a bag of milk. My husband and I are lactose intolerant, but our child isn't. And now she's above one and she's taking full fat milk. So to buy this one. Oh, hi. Just five minutes, they do. Also, I stocked up on some personal care for my husband and I. We always buy this degree. I bought the degree for men for him. I bought the degree for women for myself. And sunscreen. This Neutrogena sunscreen for me is a holy grail. I use it on my face. I cannot afford the other one that the bodies are using. And this has worked perfectly for me on my skin recovery journey. I used to have very terrible, like very bad acne. Anyways, this for some reason only sells at certain times in the year in Canada. So I saw it in Walmart. I bought four because I don't want to hear story. I think this should last me at least 
till the summer. I also bought Eva also her takes this and go and go by similar. It's powdered. We give her at night because it's heavier, because this is heavier. And we give her the liquid milk during the day. So I bought that. I bought almond milk, like I told you, my husband and I are lactose like intolerant. I bought almond milk for us. And then I bought this snack for Eva because she absolutely loves them. And I think it was on sale for four for something. So I bought four. The expiry is like the end of 2025. We're currently in January of 2024, so this should be fine for months. This teething crackers, almost she loves it so much. So every time I go to Walmart and we're low, I always buy at least three because she goes through this in like a month. Because she's not a heavy snacker, she, she takes lots of fruits and vegetables. But there are times where she like when we're in the car or she's actually teething. This she loves this particular one. This one, so. I just buy it regardless of the age they put on it. I also bought her some arrowroot biscuits. I gave her. She loved this up until she was one. I took a break from buying it, but she just fell sick recently. And I realized that she does not really eat a lot of snacks and she needs the most energy right now. So I bought her some snacks. These are for her as well. I bought myself it, self care for hair removal, leg, and like my body on the arms. I also bought time. I also bought flat bread because I plan to make the chicken breast I showed you guys earlier with this to make wraps for the week that we're going to. So stay there. So for Eva, you already, if you already know, like if you know me personally, you know I love raspberry and cream. Like it's the best thing that's happened to me since becoming a mom. We recently transitioned to the wipes. We've been using the diapers since Eva was like seven months. I am started using the wipes for like, I think just before she turned one and we have never looked back. Amazing. We buy the sensitive wipes, this one. And boy, can I tell you that this is value for money. I feel like I'm getting my money back. So recently Eva was not coming there and I realized that all her sweaters are like snow. It's either she's like a sweater for a set and she does not really have like a stay at home sweater so i saw this one on sale it was on sale for seven dollars i bought it just to throw on her like on like weekend when she's at home or days when she doesn't go to school it was an like, impulse buy i wasn't supposed to buy it but it was seven dollars you can't go wrong it's winter so in walmart i spent a total of 178 dollars and 87 cents and then for my sunscreen alone just the four sunscreens I showed you guys from Walmart, I spent a total of $81.22. And that's because it's quite pricey, like each one is like $17.97. And lastly, I made a stop at the dollar store because I realized that our soap dispenser in the bathroom, for instance, was broken and there were other things that needed to get there, like cleaning supplies. I bought this infectant wipe because I always have to have those, especially in this. Like since the pandemic, it has always been a staple in my home. I buy pine saw like for mopping the house, just to give it like a nice smell. And I find that when I dilute it a lot, it's not too strong compared to like other like cleaning supplies that I've used. I always have white apple cider vinegar. I use this for like everything in my house. I bought time in pouches, so I started to buy like dispenser from Dollarama to so just put the time inside. My primary thing going to Dollarama was this, so I'm so happy that I got to buy like the soap dispenser because the one in our bathroom, the exact same one is broken. I think we've had it even before we got married, so it's more than four years, five years, so we're replacing it. And also, my husband is a coffee drinker in the house. I bought him a coffee strainer, I'm gonna get 100 in here, so yeah. That's everything I bought from all my shopping today. I spent $17.23. So this is everything I did today for groceries, Costco, Walmart, Dollarama. We have come to the end of this video. 
thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up it helps youtube recommend my video to other people if you live in canada how much you spend for groceries with your family i would like to know in the comment section like typically how much you spend not every week if i'm being honest like this is a very big shop but like fresh produce are things that i shop every week but for the rest of these things they'll probably last me months some things will last me like four five six months so i'm not going to be doing this every single week right anyways thank you for watching the video and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my video turn on the notification bell i'm a new mom so my life is pretty crazy right now but i will try my best to be consistent also catch me in the shops thank you for watching